Authors Corner. Hartley Kinnett joins us. He's written a book called A 25 Cent Investment. Hartley, thanks so much for joining us. Well, I'm glad to be with you. You and I had a great conversation off the air. And tell the listeners what it is that drove you to write this book. Why'd you write this book? Well, I had grown up in a uh, family where religion wasn't really part of anything. Um, And so I really didn't attend church. But uh, as a youngster, I had an experience that um, was extraordinary. I was 10 years old, and and, uh, uh, I had this experience and uh, didn't think a lot about it at the time, but it turned out to be the beginning of a faith walk. And um, then I began having other experiences that were equally as uh, dramatic as that the first one I had. And suddenly I could see a pattern, uh, and suddenly I could see God working in my life. And um, so I would tell these stories to people either in, um, either in uh, you know, teaching or home events or something like that. And they finally said, why don't you put them in a book? And then I realized when I did that that this was a uh, a whole faith walk of a individual. I like that. I love the title, a twenty five cent investment, and we'll talk about it in a second. But give us one of those stories, either the one from when you were ten or another one you want to share. Well, the first one was ten years old. I um, came from a big family, four brothers and a sister. Uh, it was during the war, nineteen forty four, and we were at the shore. And my, um, uh, we had all gone to the beach, which is what we did every morning. And I had come home to the family for a traditional lunch, which was, again, what you did. And as I got home, I realized everybody was sitting on the porch very morose. And I, I said, this isn't like a beautiful day in Long Island Shore. This, something's wrong. And my father came out to me and handed me a telegram, which said, uh, Dear Mr. Kinnett, sorry. Uh, but your son, Ensign Arlkinet, is missing in action and presumed dead. And that shocked, of course, the whole family and shocked me to the extent that a 10-year-old can absorb all of that. But nonetheless, we went along with our lunch, and it was uh, a tough one, of course, and I just wanted to get out of the house. So I got on my bike, uh, was going to go back down to the beach where I, I loved and would probably find solace. And I went by this church that I must have gone by a hundred times in my life and never even thought about it. And suddenly my bike pulled over and I got off my bike. I walked up to the door. The door was open. I walked in. It was musty. Um, I went down the middle aisle um, having no idea what to expect. Mm -hmm. And there in the front was a was a table with a little bowl in it. So I, I dug in my pocket and put a quarter in it and uh, turned around, walked out, got on my bike, went to the beach. On the way back, the same thing happened. I was drawn into this church and went up, looked at the bowl, and the quarter was gone. And I said to myself, wow, that is something's happening here. Right. It, was, it really shocked me. So that was the first one. That was my 25-cent investment. I love it. And that's the name of the book. And so that explains the name of the, the book. And so, you know, um, your book and, and your personality, and people can tell that, which, by the way, you can get this book on, on Amazon.com. You're very upbeat, but just like you described there um, with the missing in action and, you know, the telegram, it, obviously there were times of discouragement. There were times when... You had to deal with something that was bleak. So how do you get through that? Well, it's interesting, Kate. I, I, yes, of course, everyone has highs and lows, and that's one of the things I learned. That's one of the things that, that I, I finally learned that God does that, you know, that allows that to happen. I'm not sure he does it, but he allows it to happen. For me, in, in, for, in one case, for instance, I um, uh, started my own leather business. And uh, I took all my wife's inheritance and went out and bought, of all things, kangaroo skins Mm -hmm. and started to tan them. Well, I was going along like gangbusters and everything was fine. And suddenly I got a phone call from my partner in Sydney who said, Hartley, guess what? The uh, Australian government has just put the kangaroo on the endangered species list 
and we're out of business. Uh. And the whole thing came tumbling down. I lost every dime we had. And um, it was all because I had been totally arrogant in starting this business. I thought I knew more than my father. I thought I knew more than uh, all the other tanners. I just had been arrogant. God said, that's not going to happen. You're not going to be arrogant. So I was got a two-by-four wake-up call. Yeah. And then you turned things around and came out on the other side, right? Well, we did, yes. Uh, we did. We had to, some tough times, uh, which was another really part of the story, is that my wife hung with me, um, uh, and we we got through, and things turned around, and I got uh, back active in church, um, recognizing what I had done wrong, and, and then things really began to um, go back up top again. So I went from these uh, highs to a low, now back up to a high, um, and it was a pattern that each time I was on a high, I was able to really minister to people, and when I was on a low, I was learning. And so it, it's, it was really extraordinary how God led me through these uh, ups and downs as a teaching experience, and well, that's that's really how I do it, it's just uh, you have to turn it over and say, I don't know where to go from here. What do I do? Yeah. Is this the most important driving force in your life? Yes, by far. Yes. And yeah. how, I, how how tough is it to share that, though, with people? How do you share your faith? Because, you know, especially in these times. Well, it's a good question, because uh, one of the reasons I, I wrote the book is because I hear... Um, all around me, you know, oh, where is God? Where are, the, where are the miracles? Where are the things that we read about in the Bible today? That, you know, they're not there. They're, they're, they're gone. We're not, uh, we're not seeing it. And so why, why should I get involved? Well, I want people to know that there is a God. There are miracles. There are even angels, which I describe in one of my stories. Um, there are miraculous healings, which I describe. Uh, God is very much present, very much here, but we have to look for him. Yeah, so when you tell people that, and they say, well, how? How do I look for him? What do you tell them then? Well, I say that it's, first of all, it's prayer. I mean, that really does work. And so you have to learn how to communicate with God. It's different, Kate, for all different people. My wife can pray in the car. Well, mm-hmm. I can't. I have, I have to go into a room and, and be quiet for 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Uh, of course we go to church, so there's an opportunity to, to pray there. But for me, it's being alone, clearing my mind, and allowing God to talk. Wow. And that's the thing to do. I like that, clearing your mind. So the name of the book is The 25 Cent Investment. You can clearly pick this up on on Amazon.com. What do you hope people take away from reading your book? Well, I think the takeaway is that this book um, describes God working through a regular guy, a regular person. No halos, no wings, no nothing, but having these experiences um, that are leading him in a, into a place where God wants him. And, and that's the takeaway, is that uh, a kid being afraid to go someplace or being afraid of something can find that he can get through it. I was abandoned at prep school, scared the heart out of me uh, as a young teenager, but I got through it. Um, I was a businessman and failed miserably, but I got through it. Um, I was terribly sick, had a fatal heart attack, and had a miracle healing and got through it. So um, it, it's, it's really a question of allowing God to work in your life. I like it. That's the perfect place to end this. Uh, again, letting it happen, and letting God work in your life. Like that sums up what you're talking about here, and in the book is called A 25 Cent Investment Hartley Kinnett, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you, Kate. All right, so again, to remind you, because I know you'll ask me afterwards, the book is on Amazon.com, a 25-cent investment. And I love the way 
Hartley weaves the story and tells you about just being a kid, a 10-year-old kid, and the things that happen as he described there throughout his life and why he has such strong faith and why he tries to share that with people. So what an interesting story. And thanks to all of you for listening to this hour of the show. Man has created a vast array.